Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on YouTube. This is a special one because it's dedicated to a new DLC, yes, and another one for Age of Empires 2. The mountain is royal and it has two new civilizations as well come with new balance chains and everything. We're gonna analyze absolutely everything. Don't forget, first of all, that this video need a thumb up, a subscription if you are not subscribed, and leave a commentary what you think about everything that we're gonna talk. It's very important to interact with the video. But uh, the, the first one I'm going to do is just to, to show you guys the civilizations. You know, what are the two civilizations? This is the first one. Armenian is an infantry and naval civilization. You can see also the beautiful, the beautiful shield they have. And now the second one. All right. As you can see, I'm, I have prepared some beautiful overlays. Georgians, defensive and cavalry is safe. But the balance change, the civilizations and everything, we're going to check in a moment. Also, maybe even a C gameplay. Let's go. Well, as I said, we continue here now with the balance change. I'll look at these beautiful graphics that we have integrated here for the Mountain Royal. Balance change in general. Elite and Imperial Skirmishes bonus attack versus Spearman armor class increase from 3 to 4. Well, basically, it's trying to make the, the skirmishes stronger. Genitors, bonus attack versus spearm armor class increase from 2 to 3 as well. So try to make these units a little bit more viable to use, you know. And Battle Elephants has been increased a little bit the speed, as you can see. They're going to be still slow, but well, something it is. Monk's functionality. Let's see, because this is very, very interesting, you know. Conversions attempts will now take one second to disrupt the current task of a Valier instead of instantly inducing fleeing behavior. I like it. You know, it means that if you are converting one unit, you're going to move to another. It's not keep going constantly, uh, you know, instantly. But to say it, it's take one second. Monks will no longer retain conversion cycle chairs when switching between buildings and units. Also interesting as well. So if it's a build for a unit, it's not going to keep it. Very nice. Develop, let's see. Developer note. The monk chains are intended to fix a few exploits around monk's usage. It is no longer possible for a single monk to prevent an important structure from being built by spam clicking enemy villages to interrupt their task. Furthermore, since buildings are more resistant to conversion than units, it was possible to charge conversion on a building and then quickly switch to a unit for an instant conversion. Switching from a building to a unit will now restart the monk's conversion progress. Switching between units will still retain conversion progress as usual. Well, it's pretty clear, has explained it, that I think it's great. Great. Really, really nice. Okay, we keep going now. And, ooh, balance change in the kills. Gain green archer armor. Don't think it's something super crucial but well makes the the skirmishers a little bit more tanky in imperial and maybe the arches but you're not gonna use too much a japanese new bonus cavalry arches plus two attack versus arches okay trying to boost them and let's see machiars we see a lot of things here wow this change machiars kasar code chain from 80 foot to 10 gold well this is insane you know really insane because when you do the tech upgrade that it doesn't cost gold. You're going to make unique units for 35 foot only? That's pretty sick. Really sick. Machias Kassar's HP increased from 70 to 75. Even stronger. You know? And then they're going to be faster to be created. 14 seconds. Corbinian army effect change, change from Machias Kassar cost no gold. Machias Kassar cost gold is replaced by additional foot cost. Ah, it compensates here. You see? you see? So they balance pretty much what they did before, you know? What they did before. So it's more or less the same. It's more or less the same. But it's still a little bit cheaper, right? Anyway, Persians. The remake, the famous remake from Persians, with this beautiful medieval total war in the background. Persians are receiving a massive update to their gameplay and bonus. Listed below in the new civilization overview, including both the new chains and legacy bonus. Starting the game with 50 foot, 50 wood. Tone centers and don't have double hit points and work 5, 10, 15, 20 faster in Dark, Feudal, Castle, and Imperial Age. So again, guys, they get the bonus in Dark Age. Romance has 5% too. But now 10% in Feudal Age is really, really big. And Cavalry generates 5 gold when killing enemy military units. This kind of means that if you go scouts, 
you can kill in units, can get gold to go up. I mean, you need to kill a lot, but with the 10%, Wolf Feudal might be a, a good choice here for Persians. Part and tactics available in Castleage. Well, it can make that the Cav Arches are very strong, to be honest. Like, very, very strong. Can build Caravans, Caravanserai in Imperial. Wow. This is the, 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 the market unit from, uh, from Hindustanis to make the, the trade coin super fast. And now, War Elephant. Very big elephant. Enjoy sustaining trip down the river in the transport ship. Oh my god. Okay, we want to see that. And now, guys, there is no Paladins anymore. Savar, unique. Upgrade to the Cavalier. Powerful all-purpose carry with attack bonus versus archers. Oh boy. Unique technologies. Well, this is the same. Kamandaran, Archer Line calls is replaced by additional wood, wood coast. And citadels. Look at the castles. Receive minus 25% bonus damage. Arrows replace it with bullets with a deal plus four attack. And plus three attack versus infantry and plus three attack versus rams. So it means that if you want to kill a castle from Persians now, <laughs> you need several siege owners and trebuchet. What is this? Well, team bonus, knights plus two attack versus archers. That's the same. Another change. Elite World Elephant attack bonus versus standard buildings and stone buildings increases from... Wow. It's a lot. Wow. War Elephant base move in... Increase it as well. Nice. And now, the Elite War Elephant upgrade cost reduces it from 1,600 to 1,200 to... Ooh, they save a lot of gold and food as well now. Sounds... Persians is, is, is really stronger and I want to see that unique unit. Poles lose access to guilds. Well, they are great economy, so a little bit... More expensive. Romans, elite century on aura affected for faster attack in militia land reduces from 25 33. Okay. Faster attack speed to 20% faster attack speed. It seems that the, the charge watch, well, it was very strong, you know. Uh, Saracens, camel units plus 10 HP civilization bonus change. Camel is now plus 25. Wow. They make even stronger those camels. They were already strong. Mamelukes HP increased from well 10 HP. Castle is an Imperial. Celotri unique tech replaced by Bimarian. And now that costs 300 wood, 200 gold. But what it makes? It makes the same as before? Because it doesn't say here. Monks passively heal all units in a five tile radius. And it slaps. Farmers were faster civilization increase for... Oh, they increase the farmers. That's very nice. Okay, we continue. New civilizations, guys. We're starting the new civilizations. Georgians. Well, you know that my pronunciation... I will have to learn how to say these new saves. <laughs> Carve out a sturdy kingdom in the shadow of the Caucasus Mountains and use the rugged terrain to your advantage. As you repulse contest for any invasions, the Georgians' unique unit is the Monaspa, a brownie cavalry unit whose... Strength increasing numbers. Well, we need to use those to know exactly what they do, right? They start with a mole cart, but minus 50 foot. We will explain what a mole cart is doing. Forty Fortified church provides villages in a 10 tile radius with plus 10 percent work rate. Okay. You need some building receipts, minus 15 percent damage when fighting from higher elevation. Okay. And carry regenerate. 5 HP per minute in Feudal, 10 in Castle, and 15 in Imperial. Unique unit is the Monspa, as we said before. Georgian unique cavalry that becomes stronger when other Monaspa or Nightline units are nervy. Okay. What the hell? They get stronger with units, units around. Svan Towers, defensive buildings resist plus two attack. Towers fire arrows that pierce multiple units. But defensive, is people going to use it aggressive? That's questions that I'm giving to you guys. Of now recovery, recovery units takes 5% less population space. I like it. We will check the gameplay later, guys. Mostly the... Yeah. The new Mulans. You know, the Mul cart. The Mul cart, guys. Armenians, rebuild your ancestral kingdom in the mountains to rain near lakes Van, Seven, and Ur Urmia. The Armenian unique units are the composite bowmen 
and a skilled archer capable of piercing even the sturdiest armor. And that and the warrior praise. You wanna enjoy that. An infantry unit that can fight and heal allied units. Alright. Civil civilization bonus. Mool cards cost minus 25%. For your information, those cost uh, 20 foot 100 wood. And that's a very nice bonus. Mool card technologies are 25% more effective. And what that means, we're gonna see in the next in the next one, in the next page, in the next picture. First fortified church receives a free relic. Okay. So you get one relic. Barak units except men at arms available one H earlier. One H earlier. So you will get Lone Swordsman in Feudal Age? Oh my god. They really want to put the, the infantry. Galley line fires two projectiles. <laughs> Interesting. And you can see, guys, the unique unit is there. The composite woman and the warrior priest. Composite woman, Armenian unique archer that attack that ignore the armor, kind of like the latest. And warrior priest, Armenian unique unit infantry, which can heal friendly units. Oh, man. So it's like a monk, but also attack. Very nice. Cilician fleet, demolition ship plus... 33% blood radius. Tatot is going to be so happy. Gullet line and Dromon's plus one range castle age. And then Ferritors. Infantry except Spearman line plus 30 HP. Warrior priest. 100 heal speed. Oh man. This infantry among civilization. Also, what is about the mool card? Well, we're going to check with the gameplay, but we're going to have some details here. That also we, we need to, to give thank you for this data to John. He's, he's a guy that is on, on Discord and well... This. This is what he's doing. The mole card. A mobile drop site. What it means. You can move it and deposit wood, stone, gold, and hunted food. Pretty much everything. And remember that you start with less food for Georgian and one mole card there. So you're going to see that you it can change the gameplay a lot. And then to show you what means doing the, well, the bonus with the Armenians, you can see how... In Imperial Armenians has a great bonus, you know. Assuming all takes are resources that can be. If you have done all the upgrades, age by age, we are comparing some civilization that has bonus, special bonus, like Romans, 5%, starting in Dark Ages. You can see Celts, 15%, you know, Burgundians, 20%. And you can see how Burgundians at some point just kind of stabilize. But Armenians is going better and better and better till 75%. So guys, this is this has been uh, the well the notes the new civilizations, and uh, the video doesn't finish here. The video gonna keep going, and now we're going to see some gameplay. You want to see the mole cart? Let's go and watch it. Let's keep going. Vamos. Okay, guys. As I told you, I'm gonna show you the gameplay from Georgians. Why? Because we want to see the mole and cart. Let's go. Let's go. This is Georgians, and you will see. Here, the difference. You start with 50 foot lead. And look, one mobile unit. What is for? Well, you will see. Obviously, the start is different with the civilization, but with, with 50 foot less. 50 foot less. You have to put one little more, or you will be idle. It's going to be difficult to go scout with this one. Okay, you can explore with this. Obviously, it's a slow one. It has 300 HP, but well, you can explore. And then what you do, you're gonna see, guys. Because in the first attempt, I was like, what do you have to do here? You see, you are exploring with that one. Oh, you cannot explore with them. I just discovered now, okay. You cannot use for exploring because it's not a real unit. Okay, it's a building, let's say. And now we have seven on foot, right? Well, six on foot, need to put an order. Okay, and now I will leave here the Mulan. Why? I will drop the foot, and the next villain is going to wood. I think you start to know more or less what exactly is going to do here, right? Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. Let's change the camera. One moment, because I check everything. Not this one. Now let's put this one. Perfect. And look. Okay. And you can move, you know, so if the woodland is getting 
you know, you take all the wood since you can move. You don't need to make more lumber camps here. Let's put two villages on wood. Only two villages on wood. And then there is options. I don't know how the pro players are going to play this, but you got to tell me here in the video. Are they going to, for example, well, they probably keep pushing deers, but you could go and make another one now. You, you will see what I mean. It costs 20 foot, so instead of doing a mill, it's worth it doing a mill with this civilization? I believe it's not, right? Now look, I'm going to make with the villager the Mulan card, okay? You take the, the boar, because, okay? Do you see how it's difficult to don't have idle? 50 foot less is a problem. And I have used it 20 foot. Do you stay here? It's going directly to the foot, to the wood first, but you relocate and put village on foot. Now, almost seems I'm doing well. I almost get housed. I will put another. And now let's take this boar. But you can see, guys, it's housed. Oh, it's not, it's not gathering the foot here. Well, I'm discovering, guys. So, it's not gathering the foot in the Mulan card. Well, Titanic, man. Well, I'm just trying the game the first time with you. So I wanted to see. It drop. It doesn't drop the foot. Then it's everything except the foot, I believe. Okay, so you have to make the mill. You have to make the mill. You see, guys? What is better to don't forget ever that it doesn't drop the foot. But if we go pause, let me just check. It should drop the foot or not? Let me just go. We check it. And Mula card. Deposit wood, stone, gold, and hunted food, guys. That's the trick. Hunted food not the berries so you need the mill okay need the mill i wanted to see this because in the previous game i played if now you go here three villagers bam you will not forget anymore huh there you go okay then now you go for example if you are slow like me or you are not pro like the viper and all those right and you cannot push the ears. Well, there you go. You got this one. And this is going to work like a second lumber can. Like a second lumber can. Yeah. But this is the thing. Are we going to be able to go up? Well, this is 19 villages. In general, many players are going, you know, faster. Let's see if we can go up, dropping this food. Can we drop the food? We can, but... Okay, almost. And now I'm up. 20 population. Oh, he's slamming, man. Stop, man. Stop. Well, guys, this is how it is the start for this civilization. This is the new, the new stuff. It was very nice. You can see how the mill is needed for the berries, but you, for example, now take this food and the second lumber can, can be that one. But... Obviously, it's better to push, probably. And then you make this Mulan, I believe, as a lumber camp. Let's now go and try the next one. That is going to be unique units. We make Armenians. Let's check it out. Okay, guys, we are with Armenian. And what we are doing here? Well, we're doing that match. Why? Because we want to see the civilization. Well, this is, this is Georgians. So I'm going to go back, you know. And we're going to make Armenians because... I think it's, it's more fun to see this new unit, the warrior, you know? Okay. You don't stand with the Mulan. And this is coastal. It looks like Nomad. Why I go uh, dead match and possibly not? Because we can make now the fortified church. You can see it's a different building. I mean, it looks the same with the mod, but hopefully it's not going to be very strong, this Louis. We want to see the, the units. And look, Monk, no, 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 let's make this one. 30 foot, 60 gold. I need hotcakes, guys. I need hotcakes for those. Yeah, and now let's make a castle so we see the unique units as well. 
I could have played a uh, standard game, but since I'm playing against the AI, you know, it's easy this. You can see. Let me go, let go closer. This is the unit, guys. It has a... Look at the upgrades. It actually has, like, a, a good attack. 125 HP. Uh, it's like a champion, basically. You know? But they heal the units. So... Let's try to see if I can get uh, some damage. And it get a relic, as you can see. One relic, automatically. And now, ooh, paladins. Okay. Let's make it on PC. And now, unique units. That is elite composed bowman. There's a lot of things more to check. Okay. Some... Oh, I don't have... This is not Lumber Camp. Now that I just notice. Okay. No Lumber Camp for... Okay. And you can see how the scout has been healed already. And the Palins die. Very interesting. Very interesting, but there's no Lumber Camp. We are discovering this tube, guys. Together. As you can see. At the bottom, there's no Lumber Camp. You only do the... The Mullah. I didn't notice that they don't have Lumbercan. Well, it, it doesn't make sense. Well, you want the Lumbercan if you have a unit that is cost just 25 foot more and then it's mobile as well. So you don't have Lumbercans. Yeah, discovering the stuff. Okay. So we have basically those, the units already. Let me make a pause and see if we can see something else. Um, In big battles, we might see it more, but guys, I want you to try the DLC. I want you to try. We see the, the, the units. We're going to see more in competitive games. The most important is that you see the new stuff. Warrior Priest, unique unit, the bonus they have. And well, in the last one here, the Mool card. Now we can check the unique units also for Georgians. And what I want to show you just to finish this game is the new, the new unit for Persians, new unit for Persians, so we see them, Elite Monaspa, this seems to be a strong one, okay, yeah, let's just go fast, I'm not gonna pause it in the video because this is really quick, and now we go for Georgians, I, would, I could have done in the previous game, but let's go fast and check this one. You can see that we start with the with the Molan. Now I will do a monastery. It's fortified monastery too. It has also a different here. We'll see. And now a castle. Okay. I don't know you guys, but I'm very excited. Really excited as you can see. Cal is a different building, but don't have the warrior. Okay, it does have the warrior. I like a lot, guys, to have new civilizations. But I want you to tell me how you feel about this, because is this getting move a little bit into AoE4 direction? Well, there was some mobility things on AoE4, but out of 45 civilizations we have now, 45 civilizations, if I'm not mistaken, you know, two with mobiles, let's say, Lambert camps, right? I'm not... Uh, I don't disagree. I'm, I'm fine with this, you know. I'm really fine with this, you know. Anyway, oh, it, it has a conflict with hotkeys. I will have to change. If you buy this, remember that some hotkeys might be conflicted here. So I will have to, to change the hotkeys for the Mullah. And now unique units. Let's see how these units are looking. It reminds me a little bit of the Sergeant, but no, man. Elite Monaspa. Oh my God, look at the armor. Five plus three. Two plus four. Let's make some, and then we attack, guys. Don't expect me to to be playing against the hardest, but yeah. And let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where's the units? Let me go for the relics. It's the only time that I can take the relics. Explore map. Okay. Where is my opponent? Let's find it. Remember that in post Imperial, you start with... Oh, 
Well, I believe it will die fast. Really fast. He doesn't have anything. Probably doesn't have anything. Whoa. I will put a little bit harder now. Okay. Well, you see the units here. These units are strong, man. The guy's build is... Well, looks nice. Also, the buildings look very nice. And I'm very hyped with this. With new DLC. I like it. Okay, guys. The last review is gonna be the Persians. But let's put now difficult and then you will... Extreme? Oh my god. They're gonna get destroyed. But we want to see Persians. If I find it... Vamos, 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 Persians. Ooh, new Persians in Imperial. A farm. Oh my god. The castle is still the same. They didn't make the rebuild on the buildings. It's kind of classic, right? And we want to, move, to make elephants. And now, as a stable, because we want to see the new unique unit. Extremes will be that he's gonna have a lot of army soon. Will be scared. Oh, stables already. Paladinos. Professional that much player. And, okay, Sabar. It doesn't change the hotkey, I was checking that. It's keep the hotkey from the Paladin. Which I like it. And I want to see if the elephants are now bigger. Because it's an extremely big elephant, you know. This looks the same, I think. This unit looks a little bit like... Let me zoom in. Well, it's beautiful, guys. And the elephant, same as before. Extremely big elephants. Lot of Savar. Well, let's take some big battle, you know? Against an extreme one. Let me make a castle. Very expensive. And those elephants. Remember that everything else, guys, you need to check yourself in a full feudal gameplay or from Dark Age. The economy bonus and so on. But Persians should be now a stronger save for sure. Let's make a couple of farms. Let's make more TCs. Okay, and let's go. Versus Paladins. Oh, failing. How the Paladins will deal against that? Oh, look at the castles. What? Okay, look at the castles attacking with all the upgrades, remember. These units kill the Paladins, right? Uh, well... Uh, it looks like they do. Let's see. In 1-1? One, one? No, it's similar, it seems, in 1-1. One, one. We could have also get a gameplay now with the other civilizations to see how they look, but I want to show you the Persians. Maybe I will do some video specific for the gameplay with Armenians, but that will be not versus the AI. And you can see, yeah, well, well, well. No, no, the, the elephants are just crazy. Well, elephants are always crazy. This is against pranks. And well, elephants has to dominate. You need the monks and you got, got to dominate. But those new, uh, it shouldn't be like, it's going to be a little bit stronger than a paladin, but shouldn't be much stronger. Otherwise, we'll break the game, right? This is spamming, but it seems to be looking good. I'm guys, I'm a professional player. I'm winning to extreme civilization, but with the new Persians, guys. So let's make Persians popular again. Let's go. Okay, guys, well, this has been the video for the new DLC. Remember, the most important stuff is two new civilizations. I'm gonna show you again the beautiful overlay and all the balance changes. That we have done Armenians infantry and naval civilization with a lot of change, a small change, you know, and keep the game fresh. Keep the game fresh. And now, go away, Armenians. Let's come. Georgians and those, you know, the Mulans, the new upgrades, new bonuses, Persian rebuild. 
Guys, HF Empires 2, keep going. Very, very strong. If you enjoyed the video and if you want to know something else, let me know in this video and I will make more videos about this DLC, okay? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumb up, subscribe, leave a commentary. It helps a lot. Every question, this is the time to ask. Stay tuned, guys.